Well, it's 6.30 here on Morning Live. Let's bring you headlines. A new ANC MPs have been sworn in in Parliament, including ANC Deputy President Paul Mashatile. However, Mashatile says that David Mabuza is still the Deputy President of the country. And this despite Mabuza confirming his resignation over the weekend. President Cyril Ramaphosa has asked Mabuza to stay on longer in order to ensure a smooth transition. Now, the other ANC MPs who were sworn in include former KZN Premier and MEC Sitle Zegalala, former Cocta Deputy Minister and Gauteng MPL uh, Park Stau, as well as newly elected ANC Second Deputy Secretary General Marupini Ramahopa. The trio are also tipped to be appointed in Cabinet. Meanwhile, the ANC is unfazed by threats from EFF leader Julius Malema that the party would disrupt the State of the Nation address on Thursday. Some residents of the Free State say that the incoming Premier should make service delivery a top priority. And this follows the decision by the ANC in the Free State to recall Premier Sisi Ntombela and the Mangaung Metro Executive Mayor Mkoli Sisi Onzana. The decision to oust Ntombela is yet to be confirmed by the party's National Executive Committee. Communities in the Inok Mkijima local municipality in the Eastern Cape have vowed to intensify their mass protest action. And this follows a meeting with Cocteau Minister Dr. Nkosa Zana Tlamini Zuma that didn't yield positive results. The residents want the local authority to be dissolved due to a lack of general basic services. Tlamini Zuma told the angry residents that she must first consult with Cabinet in order to take a decision to dissolve the municipality. And in international news, another earthquake has struck Turkey this morning following yesterday's powerful quake that killed over 4,300 people. Today's tremor measured a magnitude of 5.6. A yesterday's 7.8 magnitude quake and subsequent smaller tremors were located near the town of Gaziantep. Now 2,900 people are known to have died in Turkey so far and over 1,400 people were killed in Syria. President Cyril Ramaphosa has expressed his deep sadness at the large uh, scale of loss of life as well as injuries inflicted by the earthquakes.